numbers are in. Creating the most accurate picture ever of our nation's health. And one national survey in particular has had a prominent role in improving the health of all people living in the United States, NHANES. NHANES, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, is the only nationally representative survey that collects information based on in-person interviews and actual physical exams. It is the results of the interviews and examinations conducted in your county, combined with the data from other counties this year, that provide a current picture of the health and nutritional status of people living in the U.S. NHANES data help shape new policies by identifying key trends, shedding light on emerging health issues, tracking prevalence estimates, and providing a series of snapshots of the health and nutritional status of people across the U.S. Since 1960, NHANES has traveled to hundreds of communities across the country and conducted examinations on more than 180,000 people. And since 1999, NHANES has gathered this data annually, visiting 15 counties and examining approximately 5,000 people each year. NHANES field interviewers visit the sampled households in these counties to gather information about the health and eating habits of each selected person in the household. After these interviews, individuals are appointed for physical exams. The exams happen here inside state-of-the-art mobile examination centers. They're performed by teams of health professionals working with the National Center for Health Statistics, which is part of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Each team of examiners includes a physician, a phlebotomist, a dentist, dietary interviewers, skilled lab technicians, and other data collection professionals. The NHANES examination for participants varies by age group and gender. It can include a doctor's exam, blood pressure, body composition, and glucose tolerance diabetes testing, a dental exam, a dietary interview, and a private health interview. Those who undergo the full exam will have their height and weight measured allowing us to estimate the percentage of the U.S. population who are obese. Some participants will also have their blood screened for high cholesterol and other conditions. Exam participants are performing an important service for their country, as well as taking action to monitor and improve their own health. At the end of each exam, we provide a cash token of appreciation for their time and effort. We also give them results they can share with their doctors. Data from NHANES serve an important role in monitoring the nation's health and are critical to the work of public health leaders and decision makers. Government agencies and private sector organizations use NHANES data to establish policies and plan the research, education, and health promotion programs that make a difference today and may help reduce health problems in the future. For example, in the late 1970s, after NHANES data revealed a disturbing number of Americans had high levels of lead in their blood, Congress introduced legislation to remove lead from gasoline and paint. Over the next two decades, NHANES data monitored the decline of lead in blood and by the early 1990s showed the problem was largely under control. NHANES provides national estimates on HPV infection in girls between the ages of 14 and 19. These data have helped to shape prevention policies for HPV, which can cause cervical cancer in women and other cancers in both men and women. And since the introduction of the HPV vaccine in 2006, NHANES data have shown a dramatic 56% decline in infection with the HPV types targeted by the vaccine among 14 to 19 year old girls. Public health professionals are using information from NHANES interviews and exams to track risk factors for heart disease to explain the declining mortality rates for heart disease over several decades. NHANES data have been used to identify the need for programs to reduce hypertension and high cholesterol, provide data for pediatric growth charts to track children's physical development, 
monitor trends in oral health, show the importance of fortified foods in helping to prevent birth defects, and inform recommendations for nutritional labeling. You may wonder why, out of over 3,000 counties across the country, your county was selected for the NHANES. The answer is that it was selected randomly to represent other similar counties across the U.S. using a scientific process and information gathered by the U.S. Census Bureau. All counties in the U.S. are divided into 15 groups based on their characteristics. One county is selected from each group, and together they form the 15 counties in the NHANES survey for the year. Then within each county, smaller groups with a large number of households in each group are formed, and 18 to 26 of these small groups are selected. All houses and apartments within these small groups are identified, and an average sample of about 30 households is selected within each group. NHANES interviewers go to each selected household and ask for information about the age, gender, race, and general income levels of all persons in the household. A computer algorithm randomly selects household members to participate in the NHANES. Each person examined in your county may represent up to roughly 65,000 others across the country. By joining in an effort as vital as NHANES, your county becomes part of something bigger, with meaningful, lasting impact. Hello, I'm Dr. Katherine Porter. I am so pleased that your community will play a major role in the upcoming NHANES. Your assistance and support during the next few months will influence the health of the U.S. population for decades to come. Your participation is critical to our ability to advance knowledge that guides research, policy, and education initiatives. We look forward to working with you on this important effort to improve our nation's health, one community at a time.